Hello, my name is Rick Smith. I lead our SaaS products at Black Duck. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about Polaris. More specifically, I want to talk to you about our IDE plugin, CodeSight. CodeSight supports four IDEs. It supports VS Code, Visual Studio, IntelliJ, and Eclipse. Today, I'm going to focus in on VS Code, and I want to walk you through sort of four use cases. First, I want to walk you through installing the CodeSight plugin. Really easy, really quick. Next, I want to walk you through connecting the CodeSight plugin back to Polaris to pull down results so that the developer can see the same things that your AppSec folks are seeing in the platform. Then I want to walk you through a rapid scan use case, which is how we can leverage CodeSight to run really quick sub two minute scans for both static and SCA to return results right there to the developer. And finally, I want to walk you through how to leverage CodeSight to run a full static analysis. So not just that sub two minute, higher level sort of intrafile data flow type of analysis, but a deeper dive static analysis by leveraging the player's platform. So with that, let's get started. Let's start with installing CodeSight. It's really easy. Basically, all it takes is going to the Visual Studio Marketplace. This is for VS Code, of course. Type in Black Duck CodeSight, and you'll see the little purple icon with the black duck in the middle. You'll click Install. It'll download and take you over into VS Code. You'll need to trust the publisher and install. And this will install the CodeSight plugin. It is literally that quick. The CodeSight plugin is now installed. Over on the left-hand side, you'll know that it's installed because you'll see the little icon over on the bottom of the icon bar with the little duck in the circle. That tells you that CodeSight is installed and ready to go. So next, let's walk you through configuring that. So about as easy as installing it, configuring it is very easy as well. You'll want to trust down at the bottom right-hand corner and then connect it to Polaris. And connect it to Polaris by pointing to the Polaris URL and by grabbing an access token. You can get an access token out of Polaris by logging in, going to your account, creating a new token. Now this token will give CodeSight access to all the application projects and branches that your user has access to. So we'll copy that token in to CodeSight, we'll test the connection, we'll save the settings, and now we're ready to go. So now CodeSight is fully configured and connected to Polaris and ready to pull down results from the ad, from Polaris into the IDE. So here I'm pointing to a particular application project and branch. This is my WebGoat application and project and the Helm branch. And here you can see results. Now these results that you're seeing within the IDE here are pulled from Polaris and they were triggered via either a CI integration, it might've been an integration with Jenkins or via a GitHub action or our SCM integration. It could be any of the scan types. The results were triggered within the Polaris platform and now CodeSight is able to take advantage of those results and pull them down into the IDE so that the developer can see them and work on the same set of results without going to the platform. So we wanna leave the developer within the IDE where they're accustomed to working and keep them from having to go over to a separate platform. So it makes it really easy. TeamView is very easy to get started, really easy to get going there, but there's more. So we have additional capabilities within CodeSight that I told you I would show you. And so let's start by showing you RapidScan. So RapidScan will come auto-configured within CodeSight. When you click the little play button, RapidScan will run and you'll see, you see just there how fast RapidScan is. So this is more of a developer-centric workflow. We're not sending issues back to the Polaris platform. These issues just stay there for the developer to look at, triage, and, and sort of remediate these findings before they merge code back into a feature branch or even to a main branch. So it makes it really easy for the developers to get, to get issues really quick. So we've now shown you TeamView. So TeamView connects to Polaris, pulls down results. We've also shown you rapid scan. So how can you get sub two minutes, sort of intrafile, fast, static and SCA results back into the IDE. And now let's wrap up by showing you local scan. So what we'll do is we'll configure a full analysis within CodeSight. So we'll click local view and we'll click the little gear icon, and then we'll create a new profile. So next let's walk you through configuring the scan types click Polaris. So this new profile I'll call Polaris full scan. You see it over on the far right. You can configure this however you see fit, but I'm going to point it to that same WebGoat and uh, that WebGoat in project one application and project. I'll turn off SCA because in this case, this application and project doesn't support SCA. 
So in this case, I'm just going to run a static analysis and I'll feed a command line argument. Th this can be anything, but to keep this really easy, we're going to use the same scan type as we would use for SEM, which is a buildless source upload scan. So now we've got that profile configured within CodeSight and we can just click that play icon and then select the profile we just created, Polaris full scan. And now what's happening is that the IDE is communicating back with Polaris and sending the scan over to Polaris. So if I log into Polaris and then I'll navigate over to my test grid, you'll see that a scan has been initiated. So this scan is initiated. We auto created a branch within Polaris. You can hide those branches if you if you choose to, but we've auto created a, a, a branch within Polaris where the scan is happening. We'll speed this up a little bit. You can see I sped it up by about 10 minutes. I'll speed it up one more time. It's about a 13 minute scan. So this is the full analysis that's happened within Polaris. And you can see all of those issues are right there within Polaris. So they're also within the IDE. So now those issues that are that scan that was triggered within Polaris has also pulled those issues down so the developer can see them within the IDE and they can click that view and server button, which will take them back to Polaris where they can triage issues, run AI against it, all those types of things. So three core use cases, we walked you through team view. So the ability to pull issues down from the Polaris platform. We've walked you through a rapid scan, so sub two minute scans, and we've walked you through a full scan within CodeSight. So those are the three sort of heavy hitting use cases that our IDE integration CodeSight supports. Again, this is VS Code, Visual Studio, IntelliJ, and Eclipse. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you want more information, go to blackduck.com slash Polaris. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel. We'll have more content coming out in the future. With that, I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Thank you.